Hello, everybody. It's Jesus Previous here, and I'm back with more Belgium. We are in the middle of the Great War. It has just started a month ago, I believe. The French have actually come to back us up, and we are fighting the Germans. About what actually happens. Lucky us, however, we are holding fairly well at the moment, and may actually be able to offend, uh, go on the offensive into Cologne. Uh, if the French would care to join us anytime soon, uh, this would be more or less doable. The problem is, is the French army is still mucking around and not actually uh, attacking yet, even though we have numerical superiority. Thanks, France. You're doing a great job. Great ally. Good news from other fronts. Serbia is holding on to their territory fairly well. Montenegro is doing... Eh, about what Montenegro tends to do. Uh, that being said, the Russians are just getting their asses kicked. Come on, guys. Could could we not? They're making Austria Hungary look capable. It's terrible. In other fronts, there aren't really other fronts yet. I do not believe the Ottomans are anywhere near joining the war yet. They might not even they might not even join this war. Italy is doing the usual Italian thing of going war. What war? Um, to nobody else that I think of is actually at war. Uh, for previous episodes in the series, please click the link right here. Okay, now that they're gone, let's get into this. War is actually broken, and we are waiting for the French to actually come and save us. Let's see, what can we do? Quick little thing right there. I have a fleet coming back. Oh boy. Well, we actually want a, a naval engagement. That's good. That being said, bunch of sunken ships. Pretty good job. Way to go, Navy. Uh, with that, we would probably want to uh, pick up the Chief of the Navy, but we can't because, as I recall, uh, not quite done being built yet. This is a very early. Uh, early in development cycle mod. We're not quite up to the point where uh, everything is built up yet. There's no chief of the navy, uh, there's a couple of other minor problems, and frankly, we're working on it, is generally what's happening here. Uh, that's not good. So. I'm going to call in uh, Baron Wahis, who's a close air special, uh, support specialist, um, to help out our planes when they finally roll out. They're coming. The aircraft is coming. We have 15 of them in the process of being deployed. Someday my prince will come. Uh, <laughs> we're building more military factories, uh, researching goodness. We'll have right for primacy in three days, which will help a lot, I'm sure. Um, two, two, two onto this. We need to start building more airplanes and more horse-drawn vehicles. Probably more support equipment. And looking at the war in general, our front is really quiet. Wars in the east are actually the war at the moment, strangely enough. And it's not good. The Russians have really pushed all the way back to Lodzst. And it's on the way to Warsaw. This side of the eastern front is holding it a little bit better with a couple of victories uh, the greens the green regions I should say and a couple of defeats here and all in all Russia's getting their ass kicked Serbia is doing the strangely effective Serbian thing and Montenegro is even pulling off better than Montenegro usually does I'm impressed Let's see if Belgium can turtle for as long that being said how are we in Africa as I have my research done now you're uh, advancing. Honestly, what I expected. All right, let's get over here. What do I need now? I can go for mobile positioning for 273 days. That's a little long. I'm also going to get motorized. We don't really have the factories for it just yet. Working on it. I uh, don't really want to pick up heavy artillery. We simply don't have factories for these sorts of things. But this is what's in the mod uh, for those of you going. Huh? I wonder. Um, it is a thing. 
see. I could go for some boats. I don't really want to go for some boats. So we don't exactly have the amount of research available that other nations have that we're fighting because, duh, we are much smaller. Um, being said, I am going to go for the armor. Am I going to go for the armor car? I don't really use armored cars all that much, but there is not a whole lot better to do in this land doctrine. It will take forever. Actually, no, for this one, I'll go for the land doctrine for the moment. And next couple we'll get into on cars and minor things. <clears throat> Jean Jacques of France was assassinated in the Parisian Cafe. The croissant uh, 146 Rue Montaigne was an aptly named villain, a 29 year old French nationalist. Uh, journalists was scheduled to appear at one of the international's conferences to deliver a protest against the seemingly impending war. Uh, well, it actually happened. Uh, and with his death, the last major social obstacle to French involvement in the coming fight has passed. So that means that uh, France might actually be a little more helpful. Than that, you know? <clears throat> Although I'm 100% certain that they are actually involved in World War One at the moment, even though they're uh, not doing anything on the front. Thanks, guys. Real big help here. Could we... Uh, Oh, I don't know. Oh boy, now we're on the defensive. Lucky us. I'm going to call up some of these infantry divisions because, quite frankly, I need them. And I'm going to assign them to the front. Which brings us to 27 out of 4, which means I'm probably going to have to go put Field Marshal Abbott first here, also known as uh, me, <laughs> in control of all of this. Um, the problem is I lose that engineer attack. But I'm gonna say it's worth it uh, for now, at least, because I, I I simply need more men um, on this front line, and I can't really readily make the divisions much larger. Uh, I actually probably could do that. Can I'm thinking do to do. This is already a fairly large division. What I want to add would be artillery. The problem is, I have no uh, production for shit. I need a lot more factories before I'm going to start rolling in more artillery in here. Alright, they're attacking Luxembourg. I do not want to lose Luxembourg. I fought hard to get Luxembourg. Well, didn't really fight. They sort of flopped over. But, you know, it took effort to make them do that. That being said, this upper offensive we're doing quite well with. We're going to hold uh, by Hengelo, uh, and I do not see them getting the league anytime soon. Fun fact, the German plan for the uh, Schlieffer plan it explicitly mentions you need to take league. Why? Because there's a rail station here that uh, is the best way to get to Paris quickly. Fun facts. Alright, we have gas masks. Lucky us. Ooh, another factory. Very lucky us. So. Thing that I'm going to do first is I'm going to prioritize getting we all support battalions I actually like. Oh, we can upgrade them. Field hospital upgrade would be very nice. We are low on manpower. I know I said I was going to do something else first, but shush. Uh, more artillery because I need them so badly. Uh, we are doing alright in Luxembourg. That's not getting through anytime soon. And we are managing to defend at the top pretty well. Meppen just doesn't make me happy. And the Brits are here to save us. With ships, at least. Always with ships. Never with, you know, landing men. What is all this? Why isn't it here? Come on. <sighs> Panama Canal is opened. Fun facts. That means it is uh, Morocco. Just fun facts. Taking another look at the eastern front because it's uh, a little more exciting than ours at the moment. The central powers have almost pushed to Warsaw. That's terrifying. Um, the Russians appear to be taking losses in uh, East Prussia as well. And generally, it seems like uh, the German military plan is not the Schlieffen plan at the moment because uh, we're not getting the shit kicked out of us and the Russians actually are fighting a military out there. 
<laughs> strange. Uh, that being said, poor Serbia is actually being able to lose a couple of battles and run on the silly offensive because that's the AI for you. They like to try to think they can go on offensives when they can't. The best moves for Serbia in this war is Turtle. Uh, we've actually managed to win a few battles in here. Uh, let's just take a quick look at losses. We lost 10,000 men. Jeez. I think we already lost 7,000 before we got started. But this this is not good. <laughs> to say the least. How are we doing in Africa? Slowly advancing. I kind of want to take Dar es Salaam and then join the rest of the Entente Powers on the general dealing with that guy. And the other general bit over there. Um, I kind of want to keep you two in Bamadu just because I don't want to lose victory points because my unity is kind of crap 75 really really <clears throat> anyway uh, if I sound slightly better in this recording it's because I have a new mic I'm now on a blue yeti and what do you know there's a world of difference shameless plug <laughs> all right Let's go get myself an engineering company that's slightly more efficient than being an engineering company because I have a silly, silly, silly idea that we'll actually need to dig in in this war. I don't know what's telling me that. Foreshadowing. Well, we've fed it off a number of fences here. Uh, Van Galowitz is assaulting us and Josip Jaffrey is uh, the French commander in the region. Appears to be commanding our forces as well. Sorry, commanding our side of the battle, uh, and our forces are sort of integrated with his, just because mostly makes sense. The French have a large army here. We have a, I mean, large for Belgium army, but we're Belgium. I'd love to pick up nothing. Not happening anytime soon. We might be able to hit this. Hmm. We'll see how these next couple of battles end. I might be a sneaky little bastard and try to smack into that because those divisions have already taken a decent amount of attrition. Ah, planes in reserve. My favorite feeling. Having planes. Okay, good. We have air cover. That will make me a little bit happier. Oh, shit. That's not good. Hmm. What, what are you guys doing? Get there. We need you to hold this line. God damn it, they finally took a piece. Which means Henglo is going to take a lot of flack. This is not good. Uh, I'm going to join this French offensive because it's about all I can do. Yay, being Belgian. <laughs> uh, take the pony too. The pony. Uh, the pony will want to join. Okay, us. Uh, let's get out here. Uh, I just have a silly sensation that uh, we need to just make more of this and that and those. Actually, how much construction work do we? Yeah, we only have five more factories than they were. Well, that's gonna make my life a little bit hellish. All right, I'm playing the World War One mod. We don't just have you know factories shitting everywhere. It's, you know. Differences between the Hearts of Iron game and the Hearts of Iron mod. There's a general discrepancy when it comes to... Oh yeah, and now factories. That being said, we've now reorganized, which basically means we just gained a free factory. Yay us. Uh, we can gain some army experience and political power this way. thinking about it. I'm going to take a look over here just to see if we missed anything that is particularly exciting. I think this infrastructure... We can do it. I'm going to go for it. 70 days because it's some infrastructure means we can start, you know, focusing on more factories again. Ah, shh. The Ottomans have joined. That's it. Uh, bad sign for us. Well, 
not the worst sign. They are exactly the strongest state. They are the poor man of Europe. They have somewhere between 9 and 15 divisions, which makes me kind of cackle. Uh, and we have no idea the strength of these divisions. However, uh, there's not exactly a lot of things in the area to deal with them. Uh, it tends to be a problem if there's no one around to actually fight the war. Uh, how are the Serbs doing? Alright, I guess. We've lost entire tours here, though. I do not like that. But we haven't lost anything important yet. Luxembourg, namely. Or Bjorman, or Hendy, or anything out here that looks tasty. Namely, victory points. Which is good. I'm mad that they are in Belgian territory. Well, Beneluxian territory. I suppose they are in the Netherlands. Uh, and we could have taken Aachen if the French got here and, you know, followed me. Uh, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, watch the previous episode. <clears throat> for those of you who are like, eh, I get the general gist. Yeah, yeah. You, you know my feels. I am salty because the AI didn't join me in a real offensive. Because, frankly, the AI went, that many Germans? No, 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 no. We are not going on an offensive. Come on, man. We got this. Uh, okay. So, uh, Carl I of Romania has uh, died. And Ferdinand is the new king of Romania. And on a good week, that might mean that uh, Romania might not get involved immediately here. Uh, fun fact, Romania joins the taunt reality and takes a dear sweet time getting there. I don't know what all is going to end up down here. Uh, I always find it hilarious uh, how we're medieval carrier and or Greece will end up in the war. I've seen Italy go both ways, so these are the flip-flop states. They can do whatever they want, really. Let's see what's going on over here. Uh, Japan has joined the war. For those of you who didn't know, Japan was in World War One on the Entente. I know, it's a strange, strange war. Uh, 13 early fighters just lying around. I'm going to wait until that number is 15 to give us another fighter wing so I can say I'm helping France. Eh, France is actually helping themselves. I might just, you know, stick them over here in Germany and give me the chance. How are we doing in Africa? Ah, he's actually fighting in Africa. How strange. Let's just uh, take care of that before we too much of a problem. I'd love you to, to cut them off and you to come down here. I don't know, it'll take your dear sweet time doing that because we are, after all, in Africa and it is, after all, World War I. And here come the Ottomans. They're attacking. Well, Egypt is attacking into them, I suppose, for the moment. After all, Egypt is a puppet of the United Kingdom. Now, Good old King George V. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I am coughing. It's terrible. As we have another fleet engagement out here in the North Sea. We were involved in that bigger one. And let's see what happens up here. At least seem to have sunk in a couple of German destroyers. Not bad. Not bad. Nice. Got ourselves a uh, protected cruiser. On the cruiser, I should say. And that's not bad. If we can hold out long enough so the Brits could, uh, I, don't, I don't know, save our asses. And the Brits have landed in Belgium and are going to join the front lines. Huzzah! We are probably saved. I would, however, like this piece back. Just because it irks me. No real reason other than it annoys me. And I'm annoyed. Goes without saying. Ah! If we get ourselves uh, prepared a little more here, we might actually have a chance to do something uh, in terms of offensive. I doubt the likelihood it will work, but there are a lot of French troops surging into the area as we speak. And the French seem to be doing a bang up job at doing this sort of thing. Ah, uh, the Japanese want to give us support equipment. I love that idea. Uh, some of our large ships have taken fire. That's not good. 
All right, good. We've won the engagement with the Germans, sinking a large number of ships, losing none. And quite frankly, good job. Get them back to port to repair up the... Uh, his Majesty is uh, Martin Habsburg and Trump, and the Chikapad von Hastrich and Piatrein, uh, Rainer Krasen, all doing very well for themselves, these pre dreadnoughts. And our protected cruisers aren't doing too terrible. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, you know, Usually the Brits take the majority of the German Navy out because, well, uh, the British Navy is a terrifying thing. And if you ever think while well, playing this game, oh yeah, I'll navally defeat the British while playing as Germany, that's where you're wrong. Uh, and in Alsace Lorraine, it, it, it's just loss of life uh, with no real gains. Huh. Seems to be a theme as up here, there's German loss of life without real gains. We are successfully holding them off still. Let's see about air support. We still have air support where we are. Uh, Northern France does not yet. Good job, friends. Huh. There seems to be another number of French and British fighters in our airports. I'm not mad, per se. I'm just surprised. That gives me 10. Well, I could keep a nice even 15, but I'm, I'm going to go for 18 just because we have them lying around and there's no real difference in manpower at the moment. Uh, and I would love to stick down into Western Germany and be that asshole uh, just to give us the kind of support if we were to pop into Bonn. Because um, that would be the plan right around now. And I'd absolutely love it. And we're holding up our defenses fairly well with what air support we have. Also, in this a sizable amount considerably in the time period. Uh, Italy will send its horse carts, which for this war actually matters. But most always it would be a question of why are you doing this all right three factories still needing to be built to get to where i want us to be for the moment although i probably want us to be there for the technical about these things uh, we've taken damage to a naval base and a bunch of infrastructure which will annoy me to no end uh, flandering can certainly use another one that we can go into on a and it should maybe do something uh, the German army seems to be doing a bang-up job on this front. Let's just take a quick peek into the eastern front. Uh, so, well, uh, the good news is, is uh, um, there, there is no good news. The Germans have Warsaw. The Austrians didn't quite get it. Bad news, Austria. Um, there seems to be some disagreements on border war out here between the Austrians and Germans. And uh, the Russian front is kind of collapsing. I've seen this a couple of times, but usually the Russians put up a, a, a more better fight than this. More better? Yeah, more better. Um, generally speaking, this, this, this is abnormal. Serbia holding on for this long is good. No, Serbia held on for an extremely long time in the war. Um, but it, most of that was due to Austrian incompetence and, well, good mountains. Uh, probably it's the same thing that's holding them together right now. And Montenegro has received support from, uh, I'm just going to say, Anzac forces and Egyptian forces, surprisingly enough. Not bad. Speaking of, we're about to take Dar es Salaam. Well, we have taken Dar es Salaam, have we? The Brits took Dar es Salaam those hassles and we'll just uh, smash those guys and get going on uh, the front with actual units on first things first though we need national focused focused now focus come on do, 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 do. Uh, it's not 1915 yet so we can't quite go for the next one down on that tree no matter how much I want to I would love a doctrine effort, because uh, I think we're going to start researching doctrines like crazy pretty soon. And I'm just going to hold on to a pile of points for, for you know, when I need them. Uh, probably mid to late war when we start running out of manpower, like we already are. 
I love being Dutch. Sorry, Belgian. I keep saying Dutch in this series. It's hilarious. It's because we are also Dutch. I mean, technically there are Dutch and Belgians here, and I suppose Luxembourgians? I guess? Luxembourgers? Luxembourgers. A lot of Frenchmen. Some Brits, too. I mean, I would like the rest of you to uh, join them. <coughs> Any time now, you know. D do you need an invitation? Because you have one. Jeez. Well, good news is, is we are giving air support where it's needed. And we're doing pretty well at it. And we've managed to actually plunk down the thing ahead of time to go do that, just in case we were to, uh, I don't know, test the waters. Luxembourg and shoots them. Oh, they have everything they need. They just don't need much. Let's give me a second here. Oh, God. What's running that? Probably the Luxembourg and shoots him. Let's uh, uh, find and replace any of that unit. Fun facts, when you pick up units from countries that were not played by you the entire time, they will have funny divisions. Like this, which don't actually have enough men in it for me to call it a division. It's more like a brigade. And I, I don't want brigades, I, don't want, I want divisions. <laughs> Because, uh, similarly enough, I kind of want to actually have enough men on this front. Don't know why that is. Other than I want men on this front. Because, duh. Let's busily get working on making them all at least somewhat resembling an actual infantry division. Thank you very much. That would explain a lot. Like why we're outnumbered this badly. And this is going to eat some manpower, and it's going to eat uh, industrial demand as well. But we either do this now, or we lose this war. So, that's my two cents in the matter. It'll take some dear sweet time actually getting supplied. I know we have enough rifles. Pretty sure we have enough rifles. Oh, yeah, we have plenty of rifles. We've got 10,000 rifles. That's plenty. We do not have enough of anything else, but we, we certainly have enough rifles. So that actually gives me an idea for a minute here. Production, please. I don't know why I clicked every screen right there. Uh, we, we definitely need more of this. I would like to have more artillery as well, and horse-drawn vehicles are necessary to you know, get more artillery. So QED, I want them too. Oh boy. So Diaz has fled to Spain, and that's that part of the Mexican Revolution done with. The opposition forces have taken over. As such, we have Francisco El Morado, El Morado of Pan. Over the Eastern Front, oh jeez, the Russians have been pushed clear out of Poland, you know, into Galicia and things. Um, Oh boy, you're already starting to run on Odessa, which is generally a bad sign for many when hoping to hold on to Russia against all odds. That's just generally not a good sign. I'm going to get going on the idea of starting the mustard gas now, just because it's useful. For obvious reasons. And that will be it for the moment. Taking a look at the time, we have spent ourselves a good around 30-ish minutes. I'm going to call that an episode. We've made it through the first several months of the war. We've only lost a tiny little slither of what is the United Benelux. And we've generally fared better than at least one member of the entire. Looking at you, Russia. Why? Why? What is this? They're probably dealing with yeah, yeah, significantly more German and Austrian divisions than you usually see on this front. Oh, yeah, there's a lot more. Um, 
And the Serbs are decently holding on, even though they're doing dumb offensives. As is Montenegro. I believe next time might see our first real attempt at offensive that will not, you know, crumble immediately now that we actually have enough rifles for everyone and enough of everyone on the field. Maybe. So yes, I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please like and or subscribe as you feel free to do so. Thanks, guys. See you then.